What's going on everybody? It's your boy the low-key legend. How the fuck y'all doing today? I'm doing all right today I got a brand new story here for you guys and we are gonna be talking about the first time I got asked to have a threesome So with that being said man, it's a crazy story If you guys do enjoy be sure to smash that thumbs up button and let's dive on into this video man So I was a senior in high school and my girlfriend was having a Halloween party This was more of a party because she was moving out of this house that she owned she recently had a problem with her parents and her parents ended up separating and the house that they had was very big and they realized they had to sell it so they moved to a different house and this was the last day we got to basically chill in this house so me and her were sitting there and we're thinking you know she came up with the idea she wanted to have a party at this house for her last day being here ever like this was the last time we would ever be able to hang out here before someone else moved in and I was down for it I was like all right bet so I grabbed the phone she grabs her phone we start hitting people up she hits up some of her friends i hit up some of my friends we get probably like 15 20 people here within the matter of like a half hour hour and it's eight o'clock we're cooling at this point bro and at the time i was a little bit i wouldn't say i'm addicted i was addicted to bars but i, I definitely was uh you know xanax was my drug of cho choice and before i even say anymore man definitely stay away from that shit like realizing it now that is not a good drug to ever fuck around with like at all very addictive drug and people might think yo it's not that bad it really is though bro so i'm i want to say that right now just because i was on this shit definitely not a drug you ever want to fuck around with because that is a drug that can fuck your entire life up getting that out the way i was off a bar my buddies came over and her you know girlfriends came over so we're all chilling at this point i had all my good friends there you know i pretty much brought my whole squad because i told them i was like dude we're having a nice little party we got alcohol we had alcohol there already she had like you know four bottles already bought and we were just cooling bro we were just straight chilling it was a very dope night. We were all in the room, um, sparking up, you know, right outside the balcony, like right outside the room. It was a very big house as well, but we managed to keep most of the party upstairs. But, you know, some people wanted to, you know, explore downstairs as well, hang out down there. But it was, like I said, man, it was a lot of people at this party. So I'm sitting in the room, man, and I just got done. Uh, what is it? We just got done smoking a blunt. I'm high as fuck. I'm in the room. You know, we're all talking. I'm right now, I'm sitting with her friends, her and her friends, like three of her girlfriends and one of my boys. So, we we're in, you know, a little group of six and we're all just chatting it up. And then I decide, I'm like, all right, like I'm, I was really fucked up at this point. I was like, damn, all right, you know, I'm cooling. One of her friends said she's going to go outside and smoke a square. And I was like, babe, like, let's go outside. I want to smoke a square real quick. She's so she's like, okay, all three of us get up and we go outside and we start smoking it. Me and this, her friend started smoking a cigarette. My girlfriend did not enjoy smoking cigarettes. So she just kind of came out there for the company and we were smoking, man. And I was super fucked up smoking this cigarette, bro. I was barred out. I was high as fuck and i think i was a little even a little bit drunk because we were taking some shots there of uh i don't know what was there we had ciroc we had uh uv blue that was the dr uh the, the drink of choice there as well like we had a fat ass handle of uv blue and that shit smacked back in the day i'm not i haven't tried it in a long time but uv blue was the shit dude let me say that that shit definitely fucked us up heavy and it tasted super good and we were just cooling bro so we're outside smoking this cigarette you know she wanders off her friend wanders off and it's me and my girl and i'm smoking a cigarette you know kind of next to her talking and there's a decent amount of people outside at this point like i didn't even realize until i looked back but i was like damn like there's like you know six or seven people just outside smoking all talking all chatting you know i forget what the exact conversation i was having with my girlfriend and i you know i was just puffing on this cigarette and the girl who walked out with the cigarette uh in the first place with me and my girl she actually came up to us again as i was you know wrapping this cigarette up and this was just random as fuck bro she came up to us i was like hey would you guys be down to have a threesome and like i i was kind of shocked at first like i didn't really process a hundred percent what was going through my head i never expected it to just come out like that but this girl at the same time she was kind of a hoe but she was you know i, I don't want to say that but she was definitely you know down to fuck a lot of people and I, I was like i looked at my girl my girl looked at me and then i looked at her i was like i shrugged my shoulders i was like yeah i mean i i, I wouldn't care i'd be down for that you know and and then I started laughing a little bit. So did my girl. And so did she. Like, we were all just kind of laughing about it. And then my girl, uh, you know, she looked at my girl. And my girl was like, yeah, no, I don't think so. She's like, no, not today. No, not probably ever. I mean, I don't think she said those exact words. But she she was laughing and said no. Um, politely as fuck, you know, because we didn't want to make it awkward at all. And we were all fucked up too. So it was, it was definitely one of those, whoa, like a random moment. I definitely, that caught me completely off 
guard that this girl just came up to us and just asked us to have a threesome. And she was, you know, she wasn't my, one of my girl's closest friends, but she definitely was an acquaintance of my girlfriend. And she wanted, you know, she just, I guess, I don't know what the case was, bro, but she definitely was down to fuck, man. And it, it was, it was very, very wild because I never expected a situation like that to just happen. And I feel like if you're in the right environment with a group of fucked up people, it would not be that hard to have a threesome, especially if you have a girlfriend who's, you know, down for shit like that. And some girls really are down to have threesomes like that. And if, you know, my girl was, uh, you know, different and actually fucked with, you know, certain females like that and was, you know, a little bit more bisexual than straight, I feel like that definitely could have easily happened. Like if I, if anyone was in that situation and had a different girl, that could have definitely escalated to a threesome, bro. Like I know for a fact that would have been some easy shit, bro. She literally just approached us and asked us to have a threesome. And I was kind of shocked, bro, like that. And I was fucked up off bars, drinking high as fuck, smoking this cigarette. And I don't really, I remember bits and pieces of that night, but that moment right there really stuck with me, bro. I was like, wow, like I could have really just had a threesome. That would have been fucking wild. And this girl, she wasn't, she wasn't bad, but she wasn't ugly either. You know, she was kind of thick, but not as, you know, not nothing crazy. You feel me? It would have been cool to have a threesome with her in a sense, but in the end, man, I was super fucked up and my girl was just, uh, you know, she, I could tell she thought it was funny as well, but she definitely did not want me to be anywhere near any girl in that a sense. And I understood completely. Cause I mean, if my, one of my boys came up to me, I probably would have punched him in the face. You feel me? Like that's, that's not something you ask one of your friends, but if a female asks it, I feel like it's a little more different, bro. It's a little different approach. You feel me? Very weird. Very fucking dope though, man. Like that is a dope little story. I can tell. I mean, I, I don't have any stories of having a threesome. I've never had a threesome in my life, but that was the closest I've ever came to having a threesome. And I feel like in certain situations for different couples, that could have definitely went down. You feel me? But me and my girl were very serious. We definitely didn't want anything to, you know, to go bad in our relationship. So she basically that night, that same girl, you know, she understood. She uh, walked away and, you know, we were still talking for a little bit. And then she's like, all right, I'm going to go back inside. You know, we're like, all right, you know, cool. Finished up my square. And that same night, my friend who was with me, who I invited to the party, he was a virgin and we were seniors in high school. And he was always begging me to try to hook him up with some girl for the longest time. And at this party, man, let me tell you, he got lucky that day, bro. This was the first time this man ever fucked a bitch and he lost his virginity at this party. Literally took this girl to the bathroom. You know, they were after she's, you know, asked us that shit. She was like, all right, well, I kind of want to hook up with someone now. So she went around, talked to my boy. Finally, I think my boy, but the dude I'm talking about, he's in other commentaries. Like he's one of the only people I've ever done a video with that is in, you know, my real life shit. Like I talked to, uh, with him about aliens in my first video. His name's Reg Regnog is his, uh, you know, little alias that he goes by on some of my videos. So he definitely, you guys can uh, tell if you guys watch those videos, he's very different. He's very unique, but he's also in high school. He was a huge dick to all females. Like, I don't know why, but he would just be like, yeah, bitch you know like as a joke too but he would be serious at the same time so you would be like um you know is he serious or is he just fucking around but females understood him and was like yeah like he's just being a dick so a lot a lot of females like to fuck with him but this night man it was different we were all fucked up we were all you know it was a very good vibe in the house everyone there was super chill we were all just fucking wasted bro and he ended up yeah taking her to the bathroom and piping that bitch down bro so he lost his virginity that day he told me the story of it like it was wild um definitely a wild fucking story i might have to save that for another video but i mean i don't, I don't know if i'm ever gonna make a video on that but he told me he was in the bathroom hitting it doggy style with a with a bottle of uv blue just drinking that bitch while he's hitting her like from the back it was wild i was like damn bro like okay like i'm glad i helped you out like that bro for real everything lined up perfectly that night and i thought it was just the coolest fucking coolest probably definitely the most lit not even lit but the most chill vibed party i've ever been to everything that night went so perfect and i was just so fucked up feeling so good it was wild man a very wild story and i can't believe that i'm really making this shit right now bro because that is something that that's just crazy bro that is so wild like i cannot believe that that shit happened i'm really glad it happened the way it did because you know i got i you know turn we turned that girl down and she ended up going out and fucking my friend that was 
a virgin, bro. And he was begging for put, not begging, but he definitely wanted to get laid, you know, before high school ended and all that shit. And he, and I basically helped his dreams come true, man. And that is, I can really say that that's, that's, I helped my boy get laid, man. I don't know if I helped him, but I definitely brought him to the party. And without me inviting him to that party, he wouldn't have gotten laid. And he's not the most socially, he's kind of awkward at certain times, but he's not even awkward. He's more of just a dick at certain times. You know, he could be definitely a dick when he wants to. I mean, I feel like that's how he is all the time though, bro. So he really just got lucky, bro. He got super lucky with that. And I'm glad that it did happen the way it did, man. It was a super fucking dope night. And um, yeah, in the morning, you know, we just, we all woke up, you know, hung over as fuck. It was like nine, 10 maybe. And you know, that was about the time we had to get out of there. So we all just ended up dipping. We all went our separate ways. And that was the fucking night, bro. It was a super dope party, a super dope story to that I could actually tell you guys, man. That was the time I got asked to have a threesome, bro. So that is, that's the only time I've ever been approached to have a threesome and probably the only time I ever will be approached to have a threesome. And even if it does happen again, and even if I do get asked, it's not going to happen, man. It's, it's just not, I'm cool with that, bro. I'm cool with just, you know, just me and my girl. And that's just the way it is, bro. So a pretty dope story, I guess I could tell you guys, man, but let me know in the comments though, bro, if you guys have ever experienced some shit like this in your life, if you guys managed to have a threesome, how it happened. Usually a lot of threesome stories will happen this way. You know, you're with your girl, you're with your ex girl and something like that happens. I feel like if she was my ex at the time, it would have been able to happen a lot easier. But since we were, you know, in a committed relationship, she didn't want to take it to that level necessarily. And I don't think she is ever going to, which is completely fine with me. And that's the story I just wanted to tell you guys, man, a very crazy story. Let me know in the comments though. Like I said, if you guys have any similar stories, bro, I'd love to hear them. And because they're wild, bro, very wild situations that I know if you guys have had a threesome, I want to know how that shit happened. And I, I can, re- I can definitely see how, how it's done now, bro. Since that night, I could definitely say, okay, so it's not even, it's not even that hard. You just got to have the right females around, bro. Cause certain females are definitely down to do that shit. So with that being said, bro, thank you guys so much for watching this story, listening to this story. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Check out my Instagram. If you guys are new, follow me on there. I'll be posting on my story all the time. So you guys can keep up to date with me on there. If you guys are new to the YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. If you like my videos and check my channel out, I got hundreds of videos out there, just stories, stoner tips, all sorts of shit. You name it about any topic that I've been through personally that you guys might be experiencing. Odds are I probably made a story of it. So be sure to peep that out. And if it helped, you know, definitely show some support. Other than that, man, I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. So thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay savage, stay low key. It's your boy, the low key legend. I'm out of here, guys. Adios.